Hello, happy Friday, everyone. I'm so glad to be back. This has been such a fun week and this is the last official day of the poll for this week. Um, actually, I might do a bonus poll on Saturday, so let me know if you are interested. And for now, let's just get into today's reading. Whoa, that's crazy. I got the exact same card as yesterday. Ooh, and interestingly enough, I also got this king of cups it's really kind of about channeling your spiritual growth into professional success and i think this is a really interesting pull to kind of come up for um a collective pull specifically this is more of like a reading i would maybe see in like a one-on-one -on -one session but i think this is so interesting that this is coming up for the collective because it's saying in any form in any realm that we work in that we do things in we are able to kind of use our newfound knowledge in spirituality in personal growth and channel that into our professional careers so it doesn't mean that you have to leave your nine to five if you love it and work for yourself but or become a coach even though that is definitely a possibility so maybe this is a sign if someone out there has been thinking of doing something in the personal growth sector or becoming a breathwork coach or a mindset coach or anything along those lines maybe Maybe this is actually your sign to go do that and pursue it. But on a collective, I think this is really saying that, you know, when we value ourselves, we can bring ourselves into our professional success, into our careers. And um, in terms of just self-worth and the corporate world, there's there's so much to dive into there. I actually made an entire YouTube video on capitalism and mental health. So um, I will link that in the description if you want to check it out. But um, really when it comes to the corporate world, so many of us feel like we have to cut off part of our identity at the door, right? And a lot of times that is what people say. They say, leave your life at home. And now, you know, with startups and with smaller companies and things like that popping up more and more, we are seeing more of like an overlap between work and personal life but then sometimes that overlap can be too much and then we need to find our worth by setting boundaries and admitting what we're okay with and what we don't want to spend our time doing. Are you in environments where you feel like you actively have to cut part of yourself off and ask yourself if you do need to set boundaries can you do that in a healthy way without necessarily fully compartmentalizing who you are and um oh i think it's also interesting that the professional success card also came again with this three of pentacles and kind of speaking to collaborations reaching out to people working with other people and finding a community on your personal growth journey. That's something that can really also allow you to find out new ways in which you can channel those spiritual lessons into, um, into success. This King of Cups also speaks to sensitivity, right? And so it's interesting that it's also a male figure, a male court card. And I think what's also interesting about that is it's saying that, you know, sensitivity also can be masculine and sensitivity doesn't have to be something that is sensitivity doesn't make you a delicate person some people kind of couple being sensitive with wanting to run away with not being able to fit in society with being an outcast and so this is really interesting that it's saying that everything that you think sensitivity is is actually it's such a strength right it's it's a strength it's a skill it's something that you can use to you know, develop a deeper intuition. So it's saying all the things that you might be afraid of on this journey of, you know, learning more and kind of becoming this person that you maybe have judged in the past or that you are kind of ashamed of in some ways. It's saying like that actually is something that is going to be your strength. And that strength is also something that you can bring into spaces that you might not be familiar with or might not think that they fit in. So, you know, you might not understand why being sensitive is helpful in a corporate client meeting, but maybe you need to be sensitive to the client's struggles. You know what I mean? So there are ways that you can include what you've learned on your personal growth journey, on your self-worth journey, and use that in your professional career or use that in other areas of your life and it doesn't have to be this compartmentalized thing or this thing that you're interested in on Saturdays that doesn't inform more of your life and um it also again is saying you know giving you that green light for anyone that is interested in starting a business that has to do with spirituality or personal growth and also saying that if you are that person who can you reach out to who can you collaborate with who can you talk to about your ideas or who would maybe be able to show you some of the ropes of what they do and um yeah so i'm finding this also to be a really interesting pull just kind of like day one something that i didn't really expect but it makes a lot of sense 
So I would say the biggest takeaway from this is maybe to take a deeper look at qualities that you have felt shame around. So, you know, do you like cringe when people are vulnerable? Do you feel like it's embarrassing when people talk about meditating? Um, you know, th those little things are actually signs of where you might feel discomfort and you're not going to want to do those things if you're judging other people for doing those things, right? Or if you always have kind of like this cheese factor associated with it, then you're not going to really take it seriously and really let it sit in. And that's okay. It definitely takes some time. Again, we're not always taught, you know, how to do these things, how to be mindful. It and a lot of these things like affirmations look really weird from the outside, but if they work and if they help you, then that's all you can really ask for. And so ask yourself, where have I put shame around this journey? Where have I put shame around certain qualities? Um, and also, where are what are the areas in my life that I have assumed are separate from my personal growth journey. So those are the biggest takeaways from this. Thank you so much for joining me on this week. It has been super, super fun connecting with you guys and hearing from you and just learning more about where you are with tarot. Happy healing.